This video was made possible by Dashlane. Manage your passwords for free by signing up at dashlane.com slash H-A-I. America, land of the free, home of the holy forking shirt we're about to die in at least seven different ways. The good news for Americans, though, is that while your face is being melted off in a doomsday scenario, your leaders will be safe to govern all the literally dozens of you. That's because the US has a few of these bad boys. The Boeing E-4 Advanced Airborne Command Post. The four E-4Bs in existence are modified Boeing 747s meant to essentially be a bunker for the US President's Secretary of Defense, Military Chiefs of Staff, and their successors, but in the sky. It's basically everyone needed to manifest all the destinies in the post-apocalyptic world. Each of these planes cost the US government a cool $350 million, nearly double the cost of a stock 747-200, as these planes were very highly customized to survive even the worst disasters. And I'm not talking about truck stop Taco Bell bathroom kind of disaster, I'm talking about an even worse flavor of explosion. The nuclear kind. All of the E-4B's electronics are shielded to survive the electromagnetic pulse of a nuclear explosion. For the same reason, unlike most airplanes flying today, the cockpit is fully analog. There are almost no electronics that could be affected by an EMP. Unlike the Boeing VC-25s that typically serve as Air Force One, the Boeing E-4Bs have slightly fewer luxuries since if this plane is ever to be used for its primary purpose, the luxury is one having a face that is not, in fact, melted off. Upstairs, behind the cockpit, are a number of bunks that serve as a rest area for the crew of the aircraft. Now, the E-4B can sip some jet juice mid-air and it's designed to be able to stay safely airborne for up to a week, so it's important that those working on this plane have real beds to sleep in. For the same reason, the plane also carries at least 700 shelf-stable military meals ready to eat, as well as some cake, I guess. Downstairs, in the nose of the plane, is a small suite where the highest-ranking person on the aircraft, typically the Secretary of Defense or the President, would sleep and work. Just behind that is the galley where flight attendants – yes, the apocalypse includes flight attendants – can prepare meals. Just behind that is the conference room for in-flight meetings. Moving on, there's a press area where a select 17 journalists would attend press briefings and use the communications to pass on the crucial information about how, yes, dead citizens, your president is alive and well. The largest area, though, is the 5,000-square-foot battle staff cabin. This is where the crucial individuals needed to coordinate the post-apocalyptic war would work. It's like the Pentagon minus one gone and smaller and on a plane. Moving on, there's a communication center through which all the means of communication would be operated. In order to communicate with basically anything, this plane's got just all the different communications. It's got the low frequency radio, it's got the very low frequency radio, the high frequency radio, the very high frequency, the super high frequency, the satellites, the smoke signals, the messenger pigeons, just all the communications. In fact, in order to send the lowest of low frequency radio waves, the plane has a 5 mile, 8 kilometer long trailing antenna that it lets out behind the aircraft in flight. The very whelming finale to the onboard tour, though, is the super exciting secondary crew rest area at the back. Outside, the main distinguishing feature is this large radome that holds all the antenna and the like for all the different communications. Also, a noticeable unique feature is that the plane carries its own stairs since, if the world is ending, it might be hard to convince someone to stick around to move portable stairs away. Now, since Doomsday could happen at literally any moment, E-4Bs are ready to go at any moment. During the Cold War era, these aircraft camped out at Andrews Air Force Base near DC in order to be closer to the President, but nowadays, it's believed that Doomsday is just a little less imminent, so the aircraft are stationed at Offutt Air Force Base near Omaha, Nebraska because really, who would nuke Nebraska? Still though, there is always at least one E-4B with crew on board ready to take off at a moment's notice. When the US President travels outside the continental US, an E-4B often follows and lands nearby in case of catastrophe. They usually don't land at the same airport as Air Force One, presumably in case something happens to that airport. For example, when Presidents Bush and Obama have visited Honolulu, Hawaii, an E-4B was seen each time nearby at Hilo International Airport on the Big Island. More regularly, though, the E-4Bs serve as the primary means of transport for the American Secretary of Defense when going outside the US. Overall, though, as far as we know, Doomsday has not yet occurred, so these E-4Bs have never been used for their true apocalyptic mission. Of course, in the post-war apocalyptic nuclear wasteland, there are a lot of things you'll have to remember like, are deer supposed to have three tails or four, and are we allied with the Carolina cannibals, the Appalachian assassins, or Florida? Of course, what you won't need to remember is all your different passwords, since you can start managing your super secure passwords today for free with Dashlane by signing up at dashlane.com slash HAI. Experts agree that while a password like this takes millennia to crack, a password like this takes minutes. Of course, you also want to use unique passwords for each site you use in case one gets breached. 
Dashlane stores all the complex passwords that you can never remember securely and autofills them for you when you go to log in. In addition to their free offering, you can get their premium features like encrypted file storage, a VPN, and dark web monitoring for 10% off by being one of the first 200 to use the code HAI when upgrading.